Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is a sweet cardboard organizer. Friends, it's time to cut it out. So let's get cracking. Friends, step one, just in case you missed it, is to click the little hamburger bar and we need to download it as an STL. To do laser cutting, we need to make an SVG. We're going to do it as an STL. Once you hit download, I need you to switch to your downloads call it whatever you want. I'm going to put free Kia and I'm going to put my initials after it so it helps me keep things organized. With that completed friends, start a new tab and I need you to visit tinkercad.com. If you've never been to Tinkercad before, the first time you go there, simply choose sign in with Google. Once you've signed in with Google, we are going to choose create new design. Tinkercad is free just like my.sketchup. Totally different way to design, but it does have one amazing feature. The import has the ability for us to bring in an STL, like the one we just created. When you bring it in, leave all the measurements the same. We do need to make the world fit, so what we're going to do is hit Edit Grid, and I want you to type 480, and I want you to make it 280. This happens to match the size of my Glowforge bed. It also matches the cardboard boxes that I have. We're going to click on our amazing design and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. When you grab these arrows, if you stay inside that blue circle, it actually snaps 22 and a half degrees at a time, which is absolutely fantastic. Friends, double check, make sure this looks like 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters. This design is ready to roll. Make sure you've got all your holes. When you do, we are done. Export and choose laser cutting SVG. This time you need to put it in another special folder. We always use the STL folder and you need to make sure it has a better name. I'm gonna put organizer MDH, which are my initials. So that way when we get to the laser cutters, it's easy to find. Hit save and you're ready to figure out whether you're cutting on the Glowforge or the OMT. Friends, first we'll do the Glowforge steps. Note, you do have to move to a special computer. If you're at this lesson, you probably already know that, but if you're in my room and you have done the download, well then you can ask me about moving to this computer. You will be working with the Kid Harmon account and you'll simply sign into the Glowforge tools. If you see the sign in message, just hit sign in. I've already got the password saved. And then you want to choose the new design option. The Glowforge will show up in a minute, we just need to bring in our design first. We're gonna hit plus and we're gonna hit upload. Friends, you will simply move to the STL on the quick axis, find your organizer and hit open. When your design appears, friends, you need to enter the settings. We are gonna do a cut and we're gonna use cardboard level two. Mine is one pass 200 for the speed, 100 for the power and I label it as four millimeters because that's how thick my cardboard is. We never stretch it, we just arrange it on the piece of cardboard. Notice we also have to click unknown, choose uncertified, and you need to set the four millimeter cardboard setting. When it refocuses, make sure it's perfect, and at that point you can call me over and I'll get you set up so we can cut it. Friends, if you're using the OMT laser, the steps are super similar. On that computer, you launch Lightburn. Once again, you will have to move to an area so you can launch it. When it does launch, friends, you need to click the fourth button. Once again, you're gonna look at the STL folder. You're gonna find the project, grab it all, and you need to choose the green settings. I will talk to you about moving the laser, and once again, this one only gets cut when I'm there with you. So friends, there are your steps for cutting either on the OMT laser or the Glowforge. All right, friends, so let's assemble this little fella. What I've learned so far is you want to find the three that are the middles and assemble them first. This will be the front. This will be the middle. This will be the little part that goes inside. And then back in the back, we've got the tall one. Once you've got those figured out, then you can add your glue. I always use my glue bottle that's upside down, which is awesome. All right, so you'll notice there is a tiny bit of glue in the tab. Slide that in there so it stays. So friends, notice if you put the glue back in the stand in between uses, then it's easier to get it out. Tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. Even put a little out here. Stand it up and let's stick in those pieces really quick. Pop. I'm gonna put glue on this so that it actually stays in. 
once again little bits And friends, now that we got those in place, we can glue in these sides. Once again, just a tiny bit of glue. I'm gonna put this glue here and here and here, a little bit here and a little bit here as well. Pop out this last tab that didn't come out completely. And friends, we can stand it all up and put it together. And there you have it friends, laser cut, cardboard organizer. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, assembled cardboard organizer, created in SketchUp, turned into an SVG using Tinkercad. I think it is a sweet skill. These tabs and notches can allow you to build so many things, so I'm hoping this turns into a gateway project for you. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp Made Simple. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.